With the installation of our mini split system complete, we're on to another major project. This will be a huge milestone for our family. And as soon as we get started, we find out that this will require a little more work than we originally anticipated. Unfortunately, the floor is a bit out of whack. What we thought would be a simple process ends up requiring more steps and it leaves us feeling a bit defeated. But we're both pretty beat from this day. But if there's one thing that this build has taught us, it's that there's no way to the finish line other than pushing through each obstacle. Man, I wish we didn't have to do that. Follow along as we start the completion of our bathroom. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. Good morning. We are completely done with our mini split system install, so we are moving on to the next huge project on our build. We are going to be working on completing our downstairs bathroom. This will be a huge milestone for our family. We will finally have a regular flushing toilet. We will have a shower. It will be pretty awesome. For now though, we're breaking it down into small pieces and we're gonna start with getting the bathtub into place. Last week, Ryan and I actually brought the bathtub in, set it down in its space in the bathroom, but we now know that we need to go back, make sure it's level and do some extra things to make sure it's all installed correctly. So we're gonna be doing that today and we will take you along for the ride. All right, so temporarily put the fixture in place and make sure it's supported, mark, the joist so two by four can be nailed in place so we're going to put a mark where it is across there so we can put a two by four against that back wall so it's supported underneath but first we need to put a level on this and see if it's leveled the way it sits right now well let's put a level on it and see where things are right now and then, we, can, then we put the overflow in level. That's the good news or the bad news? I don't know. You already told me that it wasn't level. But guess what? The what? way that it's going is the way that it would be draining. Yeah. And it is between the two lines. It is, it oh, is not I, between the two lines, Oh, I didn't, Sarah. Check, I didn't check that way. I didn't even realize we could check it that way. Don't have a level foundation. It's probably just one of the joists that was, I, you know. It popped up. Popped up. Because it's right, it's right on that, that joist. All right, so we checked the level both ways on the bathtub and unfortunately the floor is a bit out of whack. I don't know who the framers were, but we have some words for them. But this just means that we need to shim this up and attach our ledger board across the back here. So we've taken some measurements, then we're gonna put that ledger board up, then we'll shim up the front edges so we can get level. Then we'll need to get some leveling mortar, which we don't have. So looks like it'll be a trip to the hardware store. Yay. <laughs> so step number one, after what Ryan said there, is just for us to move this tub back out <laughs> so we can get all the work done that we need to get done and get all that leveling done. We need to get it turned. How did we get it in here? Okay, here, let's put, can you put your corner down? Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now we need a two by four that's 59 and a half. Should be level. Try lifting that up just a little bit more. Like the teeniest, tiniest bit? Yeah. Good. 
this whole area here by maybe an inch, half an inch thick or something. And then when we push it down, it kind of splooges out and, mm -hmm. and then it hardens up and becomes our leveling base. Man, I wish we didn't have to do that. I know. We can get it parallel or like straight to the wall, and then we can kind of hover it in and then set it down. I'm so confused and not knowing like how we did this. Yeah. Oh my God. Time to take the tub out again, right? Yeah. Okay. Just to catch you guys up, we got that board in place, put it up, and now it's off level a different way. So we're rearranging, checking, and then we'll get it back into place again. And hopefully this time it's right. Ryan has been working super hard getting everything in place to make sure this is level on all sides and we are super close. dry fit the shower surround. Surround so we Since can kind of see. This. Yeah, we probably should. Yeah, are the big girls being really mean to you? Spin your end around. Alright, and then let's lay it down. I think this goes on the bottom because then this has the lip oh, for okay. the thing to sit on top of. Okay, I don't know if you can see Sarah back in the corner, but we brought in our bathtub surround to dry fit it. And unfortunately, we're off by a quarter inch in this corner. So we're gonna have to take off one of these furring strips and cut it down by about a quarter inch and then reinstall it. Not really a big deal, but we were hoping that it was just gonna go in. So we're gonna get that knocked out get it reinstalled and see if we can get this dry fit before the day is over.
Well, we have three sides of our shower all up. We didn't get the third wall in because we need to cut out the hole where the shower valve will go. So we will do that at a later time, but we're both pretty beat from this day, feeling a little bit defeated with how hard it was to figure out level on our bathtub and just figuring out all the fitting stuff. We're thinking this should go a little faster now that we've got that stuff figured out though. So we will catch you guys tomorrow. First order of business today is finishing the dry fit of our shower walls for our shower insert. We're going to do that quick and then we're going to be pulling everything out so we can properly set our bathtub with the mortar that it needs to level and be set correctly. Wish us luck. Center is like 12 and 5 eighths, 11 and 3 quarters. 11 and three quarters right about at this line i'm going to drill a little pilot hole first and then then use the hole saw six inches to center down from from that one okay there Okay, hopefully all those look like they're in a straight line. You guys have watched us dry fit in that last piece and figure out where our tub head and our shower head and our valve are gonna go. We have all those holes drilled in that piece over there. We took them all out, took out the tub as well. And now we are ready to set the mortar that is used to make sure your tub base is really set solidly. So we're gonna get that in place and then get our tub back in and it will be in its permanent home. We do have to take off this piece. If you remember from a long time ago, we furred out this wall to fit. It's just a little too snug. So we're gonna take this piece off. We already adjusted these two and put in the smaller boards. So then when we bring back in that tub, it'll be easier and it won't be such a snug fit. Yeah. All right. All right, let's let's go eat. All right, so we built a perch, right? There's your perch. You don't want to use the perch because the big girls are way too scary. This integration is not going well. I stop? I'll be on this side, you be on that side. I'll go into the corner and then try to get it square. 
you know, between the two walls. Okay. We can kind of pivot it up, up, and... And then I probably have to get like kind of behind the wall a little bit, huh? Yeah, and I think I can build it here. Okay. Can I just sit down? I think so. Our tub is in its place. We need to let the mortar that's underneath it all set before we install the walls. So really quick with the time we have left today, we are getting this piece of PEX all installed to this piece of blocking that we have up here. And then tomorrow we should be able to put those walls up and maybe start the plumbing of this shower. Connect that. Right there. You watch Sarah and I working on our bathtub today and we're to the part where I need to put the tub spout in and which requires me to do some soldering of that piece that connects the tub spout. And I've never done any soldering in my life. So I'm gonna do a little bit of practice here, see if I can at least kind of get one fitting put together. And that way, hopefully I can shortcut a little bit of the work that we have to do tomorrow and not have to do so much learning on the job. I've got my flux. I cleaned off both my fittings here. Um, and this piece is gonna connect to the valve. This is gonna be our drop coming out. And then it's gonna go to uh, a 90 fitting uh, that then will come out for the tub spout. So my goal today is just to get this part soldered together and see how it goes. I got my flux inside the fitting and on the pipe. I'm gonna turn on the propane torch, get this heated up, get the uh, two fittings put together, and then heat it up until I've seen it kind of like, until it's hot enough that it kind of starts melting right when you touch it with your solder. Now that we have the bathtub all leveled and in place, we're going to uh, secure it to the wall. We have our flathead screws and some fender washers. So I'm gonna attach it to every stud and then we'll begin working on the surround and finishing up some of the last bits of plumbing that we need to do in the wet wall here. We have the tub secured, we put in some rock wool insulation on this wall where our tub surround is going to go, and we put in all the blocking we're going to need to secure our tub surround, so we are ready to put in that surround right now. I 
think you can put the copper in without soldering it. So maybe put the copper in as if we were going to solder it, solder it and then see if we can get the wall in. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because then that would tell us if we could do it when it's soldered. Mm -hmm. that and sounds if not, smart. then... Then I don't know what we do. And that gives us two inches sticking out past past the uh, finished wall. So you're not actually just applying the solder to the joint when you have the flux on there, it like hits that and it like wicks in to every place the flux was covering. Mm, okay, that makes sense. It's kind of like the chemical bond of the glue. <clears throat> Maybe, I don't know. to touch it. Is it time to dry fit? <laughs> I think so. How far off the wall is it? It's like an inch and seven eighths well, off the wall. For dry fitting purposes it'll work? Hopefully. Okay. Lines of the faux subway tiles line up. Yeah, I think I think that'll cover it. Last you saw us, Ryan had just soldered together the pieces that we needed for our tub faucet. Before we actually soldered those completely in place, we decided it would be a good idea to put in that last panel of our tub surround to see if we could even get it past if that was in place. Well, we couldn't. So now Ryan has to unsolder that piece and we have the correct connections so we can do it all after we put in that tub surround wall if any of that makes sense to all of you. All right so this is the piece that we got it connects to our half inch copper line and then has a threaded half inch on the front. We needed this because our old piece had a solder piece on both ends and when we had our tub uh, stub out we weren't able to get our side panel on and I didn't see any access to be able to solder it from behind, at least at my skill level of soldering. So I had to unsolder that piece. We're gonna get this soldered back on and then we should be good to go. make sure like none of these none of the fittings like none of the especially like this fitting or this fitting leak okay. it's a little a little bit off center all right i think now we just need to put the block in and yeah we need to put that one piece in it's our bathtub thingy that's right, the bathtub thingy's going in.
Okay. I think all we have to do now is just put in the, the valve, tub spout, and the shower head, and get the water connected. And then we have a shower. And then we'll be able to test it out. Well, we have a cold water shower. Cold shower. <laughs> Those are very hip these days. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I was like, yeah, we're not going to really be able to use that until we tackle the hot water. Yep, project. unless we want a dopamine boost. Do you know what we're working on this morning? We're doing some overflow install. Yep, we're gonna do the last little bit of plumbing on our bathtub, and then the bathtub project will basically be complete because it still needs like silicone and stuff, right? Yeah, we've we'll probably do that today. Oh, okay. I didn't know we'd do that today. We're gonna dry. We have the overflow and drain dry fitted right now, so we're gonna like line up all the plumbing parts to connect to our two in, uh, inch and a half stack that's in there. Okay. So we'll get that all cut and uh, put in, and then we'll silicone all the seals together. Okay. After we uh, after we have the piece all kind of created. That makes sense. I was thinking too about like the silicone. We probably have to put silicone all around the the walls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if we'll get to that today. I don't today. know if we'll get to that. Yeah, so we won't be totally finished with it, but we will be very close. And we're excited to be done with this project because after this, we are moving on to some major things. Our kids are out of town for a week, which means we can put more hours into the build. We have Cameron coming tomorrow and the next day. So we're about ready to bust out some major stuff. But first, finish the bathtub. Yeah, let's get to it. All right. Oh, it doesn't. That's good. Sarah just went up above and I'm down below. We are going to cut this off to complete our overflow drain. So right now I'm just dry fitting everything in, make sure that we have that whole assembly fit and everything connects properly. And then we'll be taking the system apart and getting everything siliconed and then we'll be able to glue it in place permanently. So I'm going to do mark five and three eighths. Okay. And I found these little paint white paint pens I got off of Amazon and they work really good for marking on our ABS. Did you happen to measure the height that we need for the overflow? Looks like it's 12 inches exactly. 12 inches total? 12 inches total. All right, there's your... I mean, we could just take off the overflow and the other thing now and just dry fit the whole thing. I'm up on the first floor of our house right behind our shower insert and Ryan is down below. He is dry fitting in that whole connection and I'm just here guiding him through and helping him have an eye where he can't really have it. All right, I'm gonna mark the alignment on these and then you can pull out the drain plug and then we can glue this up. I think now you can pull out the drain and we'll glue it up. Whoa, you're shaking, man. Shaking like bacon. I'm not feeling too PTSD today. 
without plumbing. That's good. Uh, okay, it's to where? Oof. Oh no! Everything's going wrong. Everything didn't go wrong. It's fine. It's gonna work. Okay, you're all you're centered right now. It looks really good. Okay, put the screw in. Oh god, I have to do that. Put the screw in. With the, I think we're done. We got the drain and the overflow drain all installed. So we are done with this portion of our bathtub project. We're gonna spend the rest of the day prepping. So we are ready when Cameron comes tomorrow. We're gonna be cutting some shiplap so it's pre-cut, ready to put up on walls. And we're also gonna be doing some cleanup so all of the rooms are actually ready for the shiplap to come in. Kind of put them underneath. Oh. Oh, the converse. Oh. Oh. 